Hello everyone, welcome back to another STEM video. And of course, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And today we're gonna do a little bit of science and a little bit of engineering, and we are going to create a Mentos geyser. You've probably seen this on the internet before. It's of course where you toss Mentos into Diet Coke and there's a very explosive reaction. Um, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna look at it in some slow-mo and then we're gonna talk about the science behind it. So let's get started. All right, so I have not one, not two, but three different cameras scattered about the yard um, to hopefully get this thing from every angle. So like I said, we're gonna look at it in slow-mo to see how the reaction happens in slow-mo, uh, and then we'll get to see it fast as well. But uh, the goal here is to take our piece of paper and our Mentos, and I'm gonna try and um, wrap the Mentos in such a way in this paper that it makes a little tube, um, and then they're nice and loose and will be able to fall into the Diet Coke over there in one try. Uh, we have two bottles of Coke today, so we get two different tries. Um, so it should be fun and interesting for you to watch me uh, try and dodge getting super sticky today. But uh, that's the goal, so let's get started. All right, let's give it another try. You might think that the reaction between Mentos and Diet Coke is a chemical one. If you've seen my video on homemade bath bombs, there's lots of bubbling and fizzing happening when the bath bomb comes in contact with the water. This is a chemical reaction, and it looks really similar to our Mentos geyser. But our Mentos geyser is actually not a chemical reaction at all. Mentos geysers are the result of a physical reaction between a solid and a liquid. First, let's talk about the physical differences between Diet Coke and Mentos. 
If you take a good look at a Mentos candy, you'll see lots and lots of tiny little pits and craters. These are called nucleation sites. Diet Coke is made up of water, sugar, and preservatives. It also has an invisible ingredient called CO2, or carbon dioxide. This is what gives soda its fizziness. When the bottle or can of soda is opened, some of that CO2 escapes. That's where the hissing noise comes from. So the physical reaction comes from these two substances coming together. When the Mentos are dropped into the Diet Coke, the CO2 bubbles form on the tiny little nucleation sites on the Mentos and instantly produce more bubbles. Since we're dropping in multiple Mentos candies, this happens over and over again. The pressure from the CO2 bubbles has to go somewhere, so it makes its way up towards the only opening, and a bubbly geyser is formed. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I've got a bit of a mess to clean up. That's gonna be fun. Uh, but thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.